Hello guys, how are you? By the way, this is Mark and here we are again in our YouTube channel, Happy TV. And to those who watch our previous video, thank you guys so much for the support. So this time, um, first I'll be giving you the update of our crossbreeding project. So this time I'll be showing you the result of Dark Knight and Full Red crossbreeding result. So here, Our female, as well, you can see, there is no new on their pattern. It's like from Mosaic and Red Magenta Strain. <laughs> and this is just what we retrieved because unfortunately some of them died due to infection. But gladly we have the male and female pattern. And for the male here, the same also, there is no new unique on their pattern. So we are going to place in the tank for clear view. So for me, as what I've said, there is no unique pattern for me, but I believe we have different tastes and preferences when it comes to the pattern and color. But if you like, um, but if you like to develop this pattern, then just follow what we did in our previous video. So for the beginners, if you want to develop strain, uh, first you need to clearly outline the characteristics and traits you aim to achieve in the new gap strain. Um, this could be specific color patterns fin shapes, tail types, or other um, physical attributes, having clear objective will guide your breeding decisions. So let's go to other gaffish crossbreeding projects. So this time guys, I want to cross the, um, the gold gappy and the red lace gaffish because somehow I'm a little bit curious <laughs> what would be the result of this project and I know some of us already think ahead that we will have a gold lace pattern and that's not a bad result for me but we are still hoping of other interesting results because sometimes if we do crossbreeding project it will result multiple potential patterns just like on our previous crossbreeding so hopefully it will result to that <laughs> So from here, we need to select the male red lace and we have here defined good pattern lace as our male. So this will pair to good to gold female. And from here, we'll be selecting female red lace also. It's a ribbon type to be paired with um, gold male garfish. Um, selecting parental stock. Uh, you, sometimes we have to choose pair fish with the desired traits. It is important to start with uh, healthy and genetically diverse fish to ensure a strong foundation for the new strain that we are that we are going to create. And you need to sometimes we have to understand. We need to understand genetics. Um, <laughs> it's a little bit funny if I see or hear the word genetics because uh, it's been an issue here in our country uh, when it comes to when we uh, talk about the genetics just like that gabba fish genetics <laughs> it's became an issue here in the country but understanding genetics and studying in depth in genetics is different so you have to understand that all right um, as much as possible we have to learn even a little bit or a basics of Gavish genetics and we have to learn about their principle, inheritance pattern inheritance patterns and genetic makeup of the Gavish. Of course because this knowledge will help us to predict the potential outcomes of the different crosses and uh, makes us avoid 
unintended results, right? Hope you understand it. And controlled breeding. Sometimes uh, we need to keep detailed records of the fish, their lineage, and their breeding process. And use controlled breeding to achieve the desired traits and to avoid introducing unwanted traits. And carefully observe the offspring as they develop. And you have also to uh, keep uh, keep that in mind um, in any variations in color, pattern, or other traits. And you have to do a regular monitoring will help you identify a fish with the desired characteristics for further breeding. And identify the fish that display the desired traits most strongly and use them as a breeding stock for the next generation. And that's what we do always on uh, on their soul, uh, on our crossbreeding, right? And this process also of selective breeding will progressively enhance the desired traits in the new strain. And we need to decide whether we want to focus on inbreeding because inbreeding means breeding closely related fish to reinforce specific traits, and we all know that. Or outcrossing. Uh, outcrossing is introducing unrelated fish to maintain genetic diversity. Both methods have pros and cons. I mean, you do that. So, is it so? Is it so? It's essential to choose the approach that aligns with our objectives. All right. And while focusing on specific traits, uh, we don't have to neglect. Uh, we need to not to neglect the overall the overall health and vigor of the fish because a healthy strain is more likely to be successful in the long run. <laughs> And developing new guppy strain through crossbreeding takes time and patience. Uh, you need to be prepared. We have to be prepared, and we have to be prepared for setbacks and unexpected outcomes along the way. And this would happen uh, sometimes, like sometimes, like um, sometimes those crossbreeding or those traits that we want will not go in our way. So we need to expect those outcomes, right? And of course, keep detailed records of each generation's parentage traits and observe the results. Uh, this is what we do all the time. And because good record keeping is crucial for tracking progress and making informed reading decisions. And sometimes we need to seek expert advice, connect with the experienced gappy breeders, especially during uh, gaff fish shows in other groups such like that and ask them especially those gaff fish enthusiasts to gain insights and tips and guidance and we need to sometimes participate in gaff breeding communities or forums to share knowledge and learn from other experiences to master this kind of you know this kind of app right and remember that cross breeding can be an unpredictable and not every attempt will yield the desired results however with dedication and well thought out plan you can increase we can increase the likelihood of developing a successful and unique gap strain so hope you get that and also guys let's go to dwarf stream topic because some of our fellow javiers ask us to make topics about them so this i'll be sharing with you the very basic tips how to multiply your dwarf stream fast so I'll be using Bloody Mary as an example. Actually, I've just acquired this strain and my red long color shrimp was the red Sakura. <laughs> so at first, I only have 10 pieces of Bloody Mary, but after a few weeks, they really multiply fast, like hundreds of them to thousands. So the technique is you just have to change the water once or twice a week because they really multiply fast if you do that. And they really like it. <laughs> And just feed them uh, with fish food as what you have feed to your gut fish just uh, use ordinary fish food once a day and they will like it and no need to overfeed because they will eat those algae on your tank and other debris and there's no special treatment because I don't know if you are I don't know if you agree with me because sometimes when you buy those expensive food expensive uh, other kind of water conditioner and other expensive stuff sometimes they will not try and keep on dying <laughs> and makes you frustrated at the same time so <clears throat> uh, so but if you just feed once a day and no special treatment for them sometimes they will like it and they will multiply faster and as long as you change the water every week so 
and when I starting to observe that they like this kind of method since then I don't have any worries for them and they keep on multiplying <laughs> so that's it guys so on our next video we will discuss more of it the gaffish update crossbreeding gaffish just like that and the dwarf shrimp plus other stuff and hopefully you've learned something from it even in a short time and if you like to share with us what will be their next topic then just message us on our facebook page at hafetv.ph or just click the link below in the description so thank you so much guys for watching till the end hopefully you've learned something from it and if you like this video please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel to get updated whenever we have new uploads so please be safe everyone to get with the glory See you for our next video. Bye. -bye.